Hi, Jacob. Thank you for coming in today. I'm yep. Hannah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, before I get started, I have a couple questions to ask you. So first, I'm going to ask you to remember um, five words, and at the end of um, the 10 minutes, I'm going to ask you to re repeat them back to me. Is that okay? Is that something you can do? Yeah. Okay. The, fr the fr words are yellow, orange, cat, car, and pencil. You want to say them back? Yellow, orange, cat, car, pencil. Awesome. Do I have to remember them in order? No. Okay. Awesome. So I'm just going to take a quick look over your um, questionnaire that you filled out for me earlier. Um, I did look at it before you came in, and it seemed like you're at a stable point in your life right now. That's so excellent. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Um, so how have you been handling this abrupt ending of your senior year and coming back home? I'm trying to stay as busy as possible. I'm trying to stick to my routine. Uh, try to wake up at the same time every day. Um, usually get school work when I usually do my school work. So usually between like 10 and two is like my peak school work time. So I'm trying to keep that at home. I'm trying to stay, uh, try to eat healthy at home. Uh, like I try to do at school. Um, my alcohol intake has probably decreased at home, which is good. I'm trying to probably stay. Since I'm not exercising as much as home, I'm trying to eat healthier and try to limit uh, the alcohol. So you seem like you've been on a good schedule. A good path's always good to have a good schedule. Yes. So, um, so what brings you to the office today? There seems that like there's been a problem. That, um, we're just going to talk about the best um, outcome for you and discuss a little bit about how it's making you feel. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so what would you like to talk about? So I have um, a dog at home. Okay. And I have a sister at home as well. And sometimes the sister doesn't take out the dog as much as I would like her to. Um, so I try to set the example of whenever my parents ask me to take him out, I always take him out first thing, never have any complaints about taking him out. I like my sister to show a little bit more initiative in that. So I'm like the only person that can get the dog to poop sometimes. I feel like I'm like the poop master of the house trying to get the dog to poop. I like my sister to step up a little bit more and see if she can get Rocco to poop some more. Oh, okay. So let's start by um, setting the scene. So you are um, going to set the scene for me so I know a little bit more about it. So um, if you were to talk to her about it, um, who would be around you? Uh, where are you? Um, what will you be talking about? Like what type of setting are you in? I am... I'm pretty confrontational, so I would probably tell her verbally in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Um, wouldn't it be something I would do over the phone or over text message? Just I doesn't think I don't think it's very effective. Um, uh, yeah, I think I would probably be very open and honest with her about the situation, and I would probably have a nice tone, uh, just see what her feelings were about it, and see if she could step up and do some more. Awesome. That sounds great. So, let's talk a little about. Um, what her response would be, and um, do a little role reversal. Um, can you tell me a little about how you think she would respond or react? Uh, I think that she'd be open to it. Uh, I think she understands that uh, she does do take him out sometimes, but she could probably step up and take him out a little bit more. Um, I think that she would probably say we would both need to take him out some more and maybe take some elevation off, take some stuff off the plate of our parents to do. Um, and that's probably how I think it would. I think she would be welcoming and open to it for the most part. That's good. Okay, so let's practice. That way you feel comfortable and okay. confronting her in the situation. So, um, let's let's just whenever you're ready. Hey, what's up? Um, I was wondering if you could step up and take Brock out a little bit more. Um, uh, since I feel like I'm the only person that can do it between us, and uh, I think our parents do a great job taking him out. And I think we need to do a better job with that. Wow, I didn't know you were feeling that way. That is such a good point. Um, I'm going to try to do better and get the, get the lo load less for you. Um, anyway, I think that was a really good, you brought some valid points in that response. Do you think she wouldn't, like, what is that? Any, anything like negative you think she would react to? Do you need practice with? Uh, I think she would handle it well. I think that we just went through it pretty well. I think she would take it pretty honestly and then open up to feedback and how I could do a better job too as well. So if she were to react in a bad way, um, what would you do? What, would you just try to stay calm, collected? or you just... I'm pretty... Try to stay calm. I've gotten the heated arguments before. I don't think they have a good end result. 
So I've learned from those and try to stay cool, calm, and collective. That's like really that. great. Yeah, you never want to get into a um a screaming match with one of your loved ones. So, um, all in all, I think you did a really great job. You were able to communicate your needs really effectively. Um, brought up some valid points that you could use in that setting. Um, in the future. Um, I think that would you actually consider confronting this person, or is this just something that you wanted to bring up? Um, in the discussion. I think it's not at the point where a confrontation is needed. However, if I see a re repeated pattern over the next two or three weeks, I'd probably be comfortable confronting them on it. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. You did an excellent job. Thank you. Do I need to remember the words? 